Hello there. With vegetables growing so rapidly, there's one thing that's pretty much inevitable, pests. Just look at these black fly on my beans, for example. It's frustrating, but it's also important not to get too downhearted about it. Take a pragmatic approach and accept that pests will always raise their unwanted heads. It's just another challenge that's thrown at us. In this video, we'll offer some tips for protecting your plants and controlling unwanted pests. But first, we're also asking for your help. It came as no surprise when in a recent survey you told us pests are your biggest nuisance in the garden. Well, we've listened and we want to help you. But to do that, we need your help. We are launching a major new project called the Big Bug Hunt. The Big Bug Hunt invites you to report the pests you find in your garden. Why? Because by understanding what is spotted, where and when it's spotted, we can start to build up a picture of the conditions common pests need to spread. Imagine receiving a notification of when a pest was likely to appear in your garden. This is exactly what we hope the Big Bug Hunt will help us to achieve. It's a massive project, but by bringing together the many thousands of reports you give us, we can begin to identify which conditions trigger an outbreak of a particular pest. But we can only do this if everyone gets involved by reporting. Reporting a bug couldn't be easier. Just head to the Big Bug Hunt website at bigbughunt.com, then click on the Report a Pest button. Enter the details of which pest you saw and which plant it was on or near. Enter your location and then click to send your report. You can also learn more about the project on the home page. With input from the gardeners like you in our growing online community, the data we collect from the Big Bug Hunt has the potential to make a lasting impact. For example, we could use that data to alert you when unwanted pests have been spotted in your area and provide you with recommended actions to safeguard your plants. An intelligent warning system like that could save a lot of wasted effort and a lot of money. With enough reports, the Big Bug Hunt could even go on to help farmers in developing regions of the world, providing the information necessary to help them avoid catastrophic crop failure. The power that your combined bug reports could provide is immense. So stay vigilant this growing season and report your pests. Visit bigbughunt.com to send us those reports and help us to help you. Gardening magazines and television programmes can sometimes portray gardening as trouble-free. Pests are barely mentioned and, when they are, it's only in passing. True, most vegetables will reach harvest time without any problem, but it's unrealistic to expect a pest-free ride every time. How many times have your leafy salads succumbed to slugs, or your cabbages been decimated by caterpillars? Whether it's a crafty caterpillar, worrisome whitefly, or root-ravaging carrotfly, common pests turn up time and again. But while there's little you can do to stop them appearing, you can at least raise the defences and, if necessary, launch an offensive. No matter where in the world you garden, there are a few pests you are almost certain to encounter at some point. Here are three of them. Slugs and snails are the bane of many gardeners. Just look at the way they're demolishing my lovely kale, the cheek of it. Don't get mad, get even. You can prevent them from getting near your plants by putting up barriers. For example, copper rings around plants or containers will deter the malevolent mollusks by giving them a small electric shock. Some gardeners also like to try barriers of hair or eggshells, though you'll need to eat a lot of eggs first. Or get proactive, set up beer traps. Slugs love the yeasty liquid and will drown attempting to get at it. Install a pond. Ponds are great for wildlife and any frogs or toads taking up residence will make short work of the local slug population. If you keep chickens, allow them to roam sectioned off areas of bare ground. Here they'll snap up lurking slug eggs while depositing fertiliser for the next crop. Know your enemy. If you can't see any slugs, look for telltale damage such as this. Some slugs will even burrow into the roots of vegetables like carrots. And if you come across the pearl-like slug eggs, be brave and destroy them. Some caterpillars, such as those of the cabbage white, also known as the imported cabbage worm, carry an insatiable appetite for members of the cabbage family. Serious infestations will quickly strip leaves bare. The tiny eggs are pale yellow and are found on the undersides of the leaves. The caterpillars are easier to spot. 
Stop butterflies from laying eggs by erecting butterfly netting over your plants. Netting can be draped over a simple wooden frame. Make sure it is properly secured at the bottom. Another clever tactic is to plant decoy or sacrificial plants at the ends of rows. Plants like nasturtium lure the butterflies away from the crop, bearing the brunt of any damage and saving your vegetables. Aphids come in many guises, including the black bean aphid or black fly, green aphids and white fly. Spraying colonies with a mixture of soapy water offers some control, but they'll eventually return. Thankfully, there are a number of beneficial bugs lining up to feast on them. Insects such as the hoverfly and ladybug actively seek out aphids. One ladybug alone can eat up to 5,000 aphids a year. Get them on side, and aphids need never reach epidemic proportions. Attracting beneficial bugs into your garden couldn't be easier. Plants such as calendula and poppies are a real magnet, with nettles especially sought after by ladybugs. Provide places for these bugs to overwinter and you'll keep them in your garden from one year to the next. I'm hugely excited by the big bug hunt. There's no denying this is a massive undertaking, but I think you'll agree the potential outcomes are worth it. So grab your smartphone, tablet or computer and please send us those reports so we can warn you about impending pests. It's time to launch the fight back against the bugs that would eat our crops before we can.